Hello and welcome to another episode of City Skyline. So, the the problem of the fire and the the, the crime still continues, but unfortunately the population is growing again. I just placed a few more residential areas here and there. They got water. I also destroyed one of the wind turbines to see if it gave me some money back. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it did. If it did, it wasn't very much because I was around 7,000 something and it gave me and I went back to 8,000 something. But it might not give me anything. I'm not sure if it did. Uh, because, you know, I'm producing enough power now. I got this thing right here. It's producing 40 megawatts. So, I'm kind of holding on on the police. Because <laughs> there's are abandoned buildings already. Yeah. And uh, I'm thinking about placing the police right in here. Right in the middle of the city. <clears throat> and uh, since it's going to be like in the main avenue, I'm kind of hoping that it need to reach the industrial area and stuff. Over there. Just a small area. If it doesn't reach over there, that's fine. But one police station right here should be good. So let's kick it a little bit, see if I can reach 12,000. I'm still in the positive. The population is increasing. I believe the next milestone is 1,400 people. 12,000. Oh yeah, should be there. Any second now. Some people are happy over there. Okay, so let's stop it. And let's see if what's the reach of the thing. If I put it there. Yeah, it kind of reaches the... Everything. So I think I'm gonna place it... Right there in the corner. Let's kick it. And let's start grabbing those, those thieves. Because there are a lot of them. Jesus. Are they stealing all these houses at the same time? Or is the same guy stealing all the houses? Each night, he goes to a different house. Jesus. So, crime rate is 57%. <laughs> this is pretty high. 58% uh, is still increasing. But, I got a police over there now. So, let's see if I can get some some work done. That would be nice. Uh, let's see. Zoning. I think I'm gonna start doing some commercial down here. I think I got water. Yep. Let's do some commercial here. A nice commercial area. This has a connection to the entrance of the city, so it should allow trucks and stuff to come this way. And uh, I kind of want to mix it up, definitely. So I think I'm also going to upgrade this street right here. If I have the money. 200. Pretty good. And then I might increase this street right along the, the river, you know. Have a nice avenue. The side of the river. And let's put some more residential over there. On the side. I don't want it too close to the, to the residential, to the commercial, and I think I might be able to destroy this, yeah, these things right here. No, I want to destroy it, yeah. Uh, let's leave that one. Maybe I can connect over here. Like so. Space already occupied. Really? What's occupying it? Let's just stop and remove those ones. Because I don't want my people to have cancer right away, you know. Let's kick it. Nice. They should have power. They also have power coming from that side, so that's pretty good. I see abandoned houses, but the population is kind of stable now. Still increasing a little bit. So the demand for, for residential still is, exists, so I think I'm going to increase a little bit more. Right there, and on this side too. Like a couple houses like this. Let's do a four, like so. Let's go nice and gentle, because this should decrease any second. 
still got an abandoned house over there. I think I might put a little bit... Yeah, the commercial doesn't went really down. Just this little, this little zone and the commercial went really down. So let's click it. I should be able to get to 1400. Let's see. Oh yeah. I'm kind of saving this part for some parts. Right here. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to increase the city on this way. And might not be a bad idea to turn the main avenue kind of like here. And connect all the way here. And... Uh, using stop signs on these little streets should... Uh, incentivate the people to use more the avenues to go around because let's say I connect it from this side they must they might start using this this route and I don't want it so that's why I'm gonna keep using stop signs because hopefully it will incentivate most of the people to use the big avenue because of I've also I also think that uh, in fact let's see how the traffic is doing Still 94%, it's doing very well. Yeah, this is the biggest uh, issue, but it's not a big issue really. And here in the main area, there's a light, of course, that's the, the center. So it should have more traffic than usual. But I'm seeing people using this uh, roundabout. That's pretty good. And they're going this way. This street only has this connection and that one, so it's not perfect. But it's coming along. Very nice. And I still got plenty of room. I can also already buy another area. But I don't think I'm going to. I still got so much room. One thing that I also wanted to look up at was the district thing. So this is paint a district to, some, to do some policies, I believe. Industrial specializations, forestry industry. So can I see the areas? For forestry. That would be good for forestry. Let's see if it changes color. No. Or oil and I can do generic, agricultural and forestry. But I'm not seeing like different colors. This is more like the sun and stuff is it I'm not sure I never use these things so here would be a nice place for forestry right and uh, on this side between the river and the uh, and the main highway should be a good place for agriculture but I could also do it some uh, closer let's see yeah but now I don't think I'm gonna do it because the demand for industry isn't very big and I can't reach that side, so yeah, the side the size that I might buy would be this one or this one because might this one because I could add a, an extra connection to the highway because that side already has one, and I could introduce forestry industry over here because already has a lot of trees and it would be pretty cool. Yeah, so that's the idea. But for now, I think I'm gonna keep working on this. Let's kick it. Let's stop it. Demand for residential. Uh, well, I might just put... Uh, some more residential here. I think I'm gonna put another street. And I do the park on this side. So let's find kind of the center here. Let's do a no way street. Uh, a dead end. Nice. And let's put some residential here. It's gonna be a nice neighborhood. Different sized houses and stuff. Do they have water? Yeah, they have water. Let's kick it number one. Let's slow it down a little bit. And I can also maybe put some like here. A few more. Give it a, a nice color. A little one here. And that's fine. That's fine. 
that's I'm not gonna fill it up completely because I want I want space for sidewalks, for trees, for decoration, for, for for lots of different things I could just place there. Let's put a few smaller houses here. Here are maybe a three by three and another one. The demand still exists, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Maybe just destroying these trees would be better. Because uh, they kinda stay there. Okay, they got some room in between, which is nice. Pretty good. In terms of noise, I think it's this one. Yeah, the commercial makes a little bit of noise, but it's not too much. That's why I do little little stores nothing big but i kind of want to mingle it with the residential i don't want to be just residential and then just commercial no yeah it, it doesn't feel right to me if i do that i think it has to be okay some areas might be just res so just residential some just commercial but here here and there i'm just gonna mingle a little bit now the, the commercial is increasing a little bit uh, so I think I'm gonna add a little commercial here on the red, on the commercial side. How's the elevation here? Yeah, a nice big store right here. We got water. I'm still good on power, so that's pretty good. What about here? Does it have a commercial thing here? I don't think so, because I do want my workers to to have some place to go eat and stuff. So why right here next to the power plant? Huh? Next to the trash thing? Maybe it's not a good place. <laughs> uh, what about on this side? I can I can still do landscaping. That's the thing. In the, in this big thing here, I think I'm gonna do a, a little store here. Let's see if it raises that terrain over there. Yeah, but I need to. It's a, oh, and the power plant doesn't have water. How weird is that? Let's just put it like this. I think it reaches. Yeah. There you go. We got some water. And uh, maybe here on this intersection, another another little store. Maybe a bigger one. A three by three here. There you go. You know. People need a place to eat when they go to work, a place to unwind in their off hours. So I think it's a good idea to have some commercial there. Uh, yeah, I got lots of room for expansion, which I, I appreciate. And here, I think I might just continue this street right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna connect here. But I do think I'm gonna increase it. Let's go little by little. Okay. Do I have water over there? Yep, I still got water. Um, I think I'm gonna do a curve. To connect kinda on this side. Wouldn't be too bad. Let's do first a, a, a little straight one. And then connect. How would it look? Yeah, pretty cool. So let's go to the stop signs. So here this one comes from the main avenue. And it connects over there too. Hmm, here I don't have a stop sign. That's weird. Yeah, this I should have a light because it connects two main avenues, like, and another one. There's four connections, so I think a light there makes sense. Here, yeah, stop sign there. I think I'm gonna put a stop sign on this. I'm gonna give priority to this one, because this one connects two ice to the, to the main avenue. And this one is just uh, as a connection there, but it's a longer one. So I think I want this street to have more priority in relation to this one. So here, I'm going to put one here. And this stop sign disappears and comes this one. Because this connects to the main avenue. 
I'm gonna keep this logic. I don't know if it's in my mind it makes sense, you know. Putting stop signs on the smaller streets with less priority, with the possibly less traffic, so that things keep moving along. And I'm almost there. I think I might just add some more uh, residential here since I opened up this place. So let's do a big one here. A 4x4. Four four. And a few smaller ones. Let's see the elevation. Yeah, should be okay. And a small one. And another small one. Here, let's continue the 3 by th the 4x4. Four four. On this side, maybe not so much, because there's a big hill. Okay, some more residential. Let's kick it to number two. Really nice. I still got fires, but the crime rate is at 11% now. So let's put a fireplace now. Yep, let's stop it. Let's see. Uh, here would be a good place, like the entrance of the city. It kind of reaches this side too. What about here? It reaches very well the industrial area. Here, yeah. It would be nice, either here or here. I might have to do couple a couple of them, like later on. But I'm gonna... Yeah, but here it doesn't have... Yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is put a street right in front, so that they have a connection to both sides. A little... a little street like this. Maybe one. This way, if they come out, they can come... they can go to left or right. Because this avenue has this division in the middle. And uh, I think it makes sense to have it like this. So let's just put a small pipe down, down the middle of the street. In the middle of the street. It should be connected. Yeah. So there's a fire right there, dude. Take care of it. Huh? It's a store. Oh boy. Yeah. Right away. Nice. Look at them. Putting down the fire. Save the people. There's a rock burning over there too. Oh, nice. And there they go. That's a fire truck, right? Fire truck returning to station from there. We're going all the way around. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm a tiny town now. I can do landscaping. Pretty cool. Event policies, parks and plazas, football, level two buildings. I can do new policies, and I can do the canals, which I don't need right now. Oh yeah, but the parks. That's what I was hoping for. The public library, a high school. Really nice. And these little things to decorate. The botanical garden is really cool too. A fresh water outlet. Oh, this must be from the natural disasters. In case there's a flooding, this uh, lets the water out. Can be turned on and off. Nice. And the Japanese garden. It's a small little thing. Pretty cool. What about unique buildings? Yeah, I can still have to go a, a few ways there. But, that's nice. The landscaping and the parks, that's the main thing that I was looking for. Really cool. So now, let's stop it a little bit. I think I'm gonna start decorating. I got 26,000. I already got the, the police and the fire. There's still a rock burning over there. Dude, take care of it, please. Uh, okay, so the fire truck went this way went here and to go back to the station you want to go all the way here he kind of didn't notice the street that he could go to and just be there so you know later on i might just connect another street uh maybe i'll just push the fire station down here and instead of having this one i'm gonna have a street connecting to the to here or to there so that it has a way to go around. A nice block, a nice big block for the trucks to go back to the station. The police. It's kind of nice. They go in their routes and stuff. 
they're in the main avenue, they're in the central spot, they can go in each direction they want. The station actually connects to both sides. So I think it's a good placement for it. So I think I'm gonna start working on a few parks right now. And uh, since I got some room, I think I'm gonna do a park right here. So let's see, this is landscaping the parks. And these are my personal assets that I created on the on the um, game editor. I made bench right sidewalks. This thing is really cool because you can attach it and it makes like a really nice line through the city. This monolithic thing. This thing is a public bathroom. It's not functional. I mean, it doesn't work as a bathroom really, but it looks like one. The the parking spots do work. These parking lots, they do work. The cars park there and they contribute to the to the statistics and stuff. There's a flea market. A parking lot for next to a supermarket, I think it's pretty cool. The parking lot, this one works too. I got some bench parks. It's uh, some white, some straight like 2x2s, two two you know. 8x2s. I also got this sunken plaza. I uh, this one wasn't me and this wasn't either. I just got them from the workshop. Let's see. Oh, I got these nice things: the basketball court, tennis, and this track and field was also from the workshop. This wasn't me that did it. This one. Oh, these are the little things that uh, are now available. You can place them by themselves and fully decorated. An old cannon. If I had the Park Life DLC, that would be awesome. Because the Park Life allows you to do like a gate, and then you can put like a sidewalk, and you can connect buildings to that sidewalk. Because without that DLC, you can only connect buildings to the to the streets. So yeah, the Park Life DLC is gonna be something that I'm gonna be looking at. Uh, I don't have much room there, so I'm thinking maybe something like this. Oh, but this is a uh, this is a uh, on this like that. Let's put a nice park over there. Yeah. Let's start with 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 parks. The Paradox Plaza. This was my first neighborhood, so I think I'm gonna put. But this has nice room for a bigger one. These are the smaller buildings. These are the bigger ones. Uh, tropical garden, fishing island, lots of new stuff for the marine floating cave. Oh, okay, it's a coffee. Oh, this one is mine. I made it. It's a 10 by 10, a big one. This one is also mine, and this one is unlocked by a milestone because it's a police dog training camp, and they had you have to reach a population of 5,000. The cost is everything on this one works. It works as a police station, and uh, it has the same costs and stuff. There's another big one I made. This one is also mine. Yeah, these are all mine. Big screen park, a junkyard, a public pool. Maybe I'll put a public pool over there. This is mine too. This pottery fair is mine. The human chess park. I made quite a few of them. The sun clock park. I think this is pretty cool. I just have fountains all the way around and the big stone in the middle and the shadow works as a stone clock which is very nice the monolith park is mine this one is too and these two are not the large parking garage and this one I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it because there's no image maybe it was deleted so city skylines And from the workshop, yeah, I got this divided right here. So I think I might just use one of mine. I think I'm gonna go with the... Oh, this one is good for the... Must place roadside. Yeah. It's rounded out, but I thought it would... Um, this was also rounded out. This one is the chess park. Uh, I think I might... Uh, but this is a rounding one. I thought they would attach to... 
That's weird because I I, I kind of define them to change. Uh, you know, this is a little too big. Maybe the big screen park. No. Oh, oh, this fits right in. Let's use this one. This is one of mine. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, nice little park. People can walk into it. There's a nice little place for 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 people to to date, boyfriend and girlfriend stuff like that. Oh yeah, nice. Looking very good. So I'm also thinking putting up a nice big park right here. There's still fires all over the place. Uh, yeah, over there. And I got these unique buildings, but they cost a lot of money. Football stadium, 200,000. Jesus. A lot of stuff here. And I can do some landscaping. So let's fix this, fix this thing here. Containing is stopped. Let's... Uh, Oh, but to relocate, I have to uh, to empty it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I incineration plant is at seventy-five thousand, uh, seven thousand. Yeah. So maybe I'll just hold it off. Yep. And the landscaping costs a little bit of money too. I'm gonna have to pay attention to that. So yeah, it's coming along. I reached 14,000. Let's just kick it a little bit. And it's looking nice. I got the fire station. I got the police department. I'm starting to place down parks. For the next episode, that's what I'm going to focus on. Because I don't want to like build the whole city and then go into details. That's going to be a while. I'm going to start decorating as I go along. And even if I have to stop the game just to slow down the the demand but that's what i'm gonna do for next episode i'm gonna work on the on the parks increase the happiness of the people a little bit and do some sidewalks and stuff which i think i can do with the landscaping yes i can do the sidewalks now in trees and shit and the, the water containers and the disasters too <laughs> and there's rocks and shit there's all, all kinds of stuff really good stuff bushes trees oh that's nice but the sidewalks and the trees that's really good so i think i'm gonna use them on the next episode but for now ah yes it's looking nice my city our city the city for all the people Thank you for watching and until next time.